I'm going to talk to you today about some more items that I should not have in my wardrobe. Being a woman of a certain age, I'm having a closet clear out. I'm going to show you why I am getting rid of these items and why I wouldn't buy them again. My first item is impractical. I'm beyond buying anything impractical. What Anything impractical is going to be a fad, it's going to last two years, we're going to buy it, wear it maybe a couple of times, realise it's impractical, being a fad it's not going to be around for very long and we'll, we'll donate it to charity and we've wasted our money. Here is an example, a lovely jumper, it's sparkly, it's my colour, but, but look, not only are they hugely wide, but they're long. But I've got to admit, I have had a lot of fun out with this jumper, but I wouldn't buy something like this again because a lot of fun can be had out of it, but only maybe for a couple of years and only at a time when you're actually thinking, I forgot how impractical this was. So something a little bit faddy like that, that's not going to stand the test of time, this woman of a certain age won't be buying again. I'm also beyond buying anything that's uncomfortable. And I have again got actually a jumper here, a sweater. Again, it's the right colour for me. I have had some wear out of it, but each time I wear it, I realise it's uncomfortable because the sleeve, and this particular one, the reason it's uncomfortable is because the sleeves are tight, very, very tight. And it's a struggle to get into the jumper and a struggle to get off as well. So, um, you know, I keep it because I like it and then realise that every time I wear it, it's uncomfortable. So I don't wear, my, wear it much then, you know, I'll wear it once for winter. So it might as well go to someone it fits better, who's maybe got arms that are actually will can sustain those tight sleeves. So that's going to be going to charity. And my point being really that if it's uncomfortable, I won't wear it and so I won't buy it. I've got a really big point coming up at the end of this video. So really keep watching for that, that biggie. I'll be going into more detail on that one. Another item this woman of a certain age won't be buying again is something that is girly, too girly. And I've got a white dress here that I have worn on holidays and vacation and so on. I've probably had this dress um, 10 years. So it's come out every summer I've been away to wear once or twice. But now at 60, it's definitely too young a style for me. A young, cutesy style. This woman of a certain age is not buying anymore. Again, talking about badly fitting clothes, I actually uh, kept a cardigan when I was clearing out my mother's house thinking I could use it and actually it was too big for me. Anything too big is going to look frumpy. And just to remind you that if you're enjoying this, please do give me a thumbs up. Patterns as well. Patterns, need to make sure the pattern, if we buy a pattern, is proportionate to our size. You know my height, I'm five foot two, I'm a size eight to 10 UK. And a large pattern like this one, this cape, is too overwhelming for me. So I haven't really worn it. You can see on me, the style overwhelms me and the pattern overwhelms me. So in the future, I will be making sure I am buying patterns that are proportionate to my height and my width, my size. Now we're coming on to a really big point, colour. As I've got older, my hair's now grey. I've grown out the grey. I don't think there's anything left that isn't. This is all my natural hair colouring. There might be a bit of brown that's natural still in there, but any highlights, any colouring I've had done in the past, that's all grown out. So my hair's lightened. Now, many years ago, I was a, what was called a warm autumn and maybe medium to deep in colouring because I had dark brown hair with quite a bit of red in it as well. And I then added highlights, which made me more of a medium, but naturally I would have been a, a deep. Having lightened, I've recently had analysis done and I'm now still warm, obviously I've got warm undertones, soft and light, which means I need to be buying lighter shades, the colors that suit me in the, in the warm spectrum. I'm not spring, I'm still in autumn, but this means that no longer can I buy the thing, the colors that I was buying previously. I'll show you. Previously, I would have been buying burgundies. Actually, that doesn't look too bad, but you can see the color before you can see me. And I was told that if you can see the color and what you're wearing before you can see the person, then it's the wrong color. And I feel that you can see the color. You don't really see me. So that's not necessarily in my palette anymore. Again, this, this here is the scarf. This in the past was in my palette. 
Here's a scarf that a warm autumn would have worn, you see, but it's hiding me, I'm hiding behind that. Dark brown, I've got a dark brown jumper I've worn for many, many years. This is probably about 20 years old. Love it, it's a, a Jane Norman jumper. But again, I'm hiding behind that colour. I'm gonna show you some items I bought recently that I think are better on me, so you can see what I mean. That would be a summer colour for me to wear. It's coraly, coraly top. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not standing out or, or behind the colour. There, it's much more, there's more synergy between my face and the colour. Here's a caramel. I'm blending, I'm, the synergy again between my face and the, the colour. I'm not a colour expert, by the way. I'm just going by what I learned. So if you think I'm wrong, you tell me. Now there's a, a sweater I bought recently, a top I bought recently, and again, I'm more in keeping with that colour compared to that. See, that's just stark against me, isn't it? It's stark. And here's another colour I've just bought recently, a mint. Again, that's more, more I'm, I'm more in keeping with it. There's more synergy, it's more, I don't know the words, there's gonna be words for this, but you're getting what I mean. So if you've actually gone lighter over the years, you might wanna revisit your clothes and think about, try this exercise. Do you, is the color stark against you? Do you stand out against the color or do you blend in with the color and you become more uniform? I mean, these colors are gonna maybe suit somebody else. They might suit you, but they're not suiting me. So I'm going to be getting rid of those and I'm not going to be buying that color, those colors again. I will be sticking to the type of colors I've just been showing you, the softer, lighter, muddier, muddier, lighter colors. I've got a champagne, what's called champagne gray, I believe, in that there's still some color in it, and there's ash blonde as well. So this is called a champagne gray. So if you've got a champagne gray, you might want to do the same exercise and actually can put those type of, the stark, bold colors you've got in your wardrobe against yourself and see should you be buying that anymore? Should you be getting rid of those clothes or not? And I can link a video down below that's actually not my video, but it's a, it's, um, a video I found on uh, types of gray and types of color that suits those grays, but it doesn't talk about skin tone. It is just about the hair, but it's a starting point. If you enjoyed this video, you will really enjoy this one here and I'll see you all in an outfit.